What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. So this is it. The time that everybody on the channel has been waiting for. It has begun. Trash picking season. So today I am in one of the richest beach towns in all of New Jersey. <laughs> and we're gonna see what we can find on the streets. As you can see right in front of me, there is stuff everywhere. Gold, treasures, littering the streets. So check it out, I'll turn the camera around. Look at this, this is incredible. The street is paved with stuff. I wasn't kidding at all, guys. Look how much stuff they put on the trash. All this. This is crazy, right? Right. <laughs> Look at it, everything. Every year, millions of people descend upon the New Jersey coast, and with them, they bring the excess of American culture. The wealth that has built up around our seaside communities has created an opportunity for a modern day treasure hunt. What? This is why we come out here. Look at this. Look at this gold. No, no. Every spring and summer, we drive around to find out what rich people throw in the trash. This is our hustle of turning waste into profit, and the best part is, we never know what we're gonna find next. No way, we just came up on this? This is crazy, what is this? No way, this is so rad. onto the island, one of the richest towns in all of New Jersey. Let's see what they have out for the bulk trash today. Look, I'm already seeing gold. Like right there, two tables that can easily be sold. We don't wanna fill up on, on junk though, we wanna get real scores. So I'm, I'm seeing stuff everywhere. But the, this neighborhood over here is is real nice, so we're gonna go there first. Okay, we we just pulled onto the island here, and look at this house. We're already finding some gold here. So, I don't know what this is, some kind of a steam cleaner machine, I believe. Check this out. Look at this thing. It looks like hardly was ever used. I don't know the value of it, but this one looks really clean, like uh, very super, super new. I'm definitely gonna take this. All right, we're on the next street here. And look at this stuff already we found. Vintage mirror. This looks pretty good. Oh, that goes to the actual set. Just some picture frames. This one's actually not bad. And the, the cork board, actually, with all this stuff. So that's pretty cool. Somebody might want that. I say I'll pass on that, but here we go. We got some mattresses, two vacuums, and we got a power washer. Probably doesn't work, but maybe I'll take it just on the chance, and then I can scrap it if, if anything else. Doesn't take up, so I like to get items that don't take up much room so that we can fit more, because uh, we don't have the trailer today. All right, little trip down memory lane here. Since we're in the area today, it's basically the town right be literally right before the bridge that takes you onto the island. But this house right here with the cars in front of it, was my grandfather's shore house. And wow, we went there, you know, thousands of times probably throughout my life. And actually he built that big shed that's in the back right there. But before that, there was just like a regular shed. And my grandfather used to drink. The, he had a stroke and then he stopped drinking and since he has sadly passed away. But this was the first place that I ever drank a beer in my life. And I remember I tried to chug it so that like my parents wouldn't know. And I was with my brothers 
And then I got sick, obviously. And I ended up throwing up in the jacuzzi over there. But lots of memories there in the backyard, jumping in the bay over here. Yeah, it's just crazy how, how like sure to go that actually seems, but it's just a whole nother life now, considering that I have a, like a daughter of my own now. It's just crazy how life is. Memories can be so, so, so vivid as if like they happened yesterday, but it was like 20 years ago now. This one here, this place used to be a restaurant and I remembered even, you know, even back in the day, it was a sketchy restaurant even like literally 15 years ago. People, like we were thinking, ah, I don't know if we should get anything there. But I, I think my grandfather had ordered food from there or suggested it and we were like, mm, it's a little suspicious that place. Look at this, there's stuff everywhere. Fridge and also, that's actually not bad that fridge. Doesn't even look bad. I'm about to look at it real quick. We could take a peek. It's probably not gonna be a keep life, but we'll see. A little bit crusty, but I mean, look at that. This is, a, this is a saleable fridge. And also probably, this is so clean looking. Both these are probably for, for sale. Like, you could sell that. I'm not gonna take it because it's a lot of work and it's pretty dirty in the inside, but not bad that's better than scrap look at these orange couches this is one big couch wow actually so nice this isn't something i want to sell right now but this could sell especially if you used literally the the steam cleaner that i just got you could clean the couch and it would be actually pretty nice the thing is every house isn't very luxury here but it's the property value that's worth so much and I can guarantee that the stuff that they put in the trash here is not going to be stuff that you can find anywhere else like on an average trash day in a normal town this is not going to be the same as this no way like even just this house here they have trash out toilet nothing good but you never know look at this this is a jack or a boat trailer, I believe. This one does not look in good condition, but I'll leave it. Definitely broken. This is good scrap though. Already you can see there is stuff everywhere. Look at this. He's taking all of the artwork. Trash picking, just like me. Taking everything. So I'm not the only one out here that's smart to do this. I like that, I like seeing that. Yes, it takes from the stuff that I might wanna take, but at the end, this is cool to see other people trash picking too. Look, there is a piece of artwork that's the size of this whole truck. Look at that. Look at all of these umbrellas. Somebody can get this from like literally a bar, it looks like. Grey Goose and all that. But check this out. This is a big piece of artwork. It's like the size of a wall that I would never have space for. Huge. Sled. All right, I just went around the block. But we're gonna go see what this guy threw out. It looked like a nice flat screen TV and maybe some other stuff in the box. I'm not sure. All right, coming up on a nice pile here. So I did a, a drive around for this one, just to see. We got flat screen TV, broken, damn. Some mats, some yoga mats? I don't know, maybe. What is this stuff though? This is a nice cooler though. I think that's a per perfect cooler, to be honest. Now I wonder what's in these boxes. Is 
a TV, it says. Do I even dare take this? No, nah, but this? I can come back if I have room later. I've decided to take the TV. This one. See what it is. I will take both actually. Just to be sure. I can always throw them out later. Look at this. There is stuff everywhere on the streets. Let's see. Anything that I might want here. Oh, so much scrap. Pots and pans. Nice whole set of furniture, chairs. Wow. This one doesn't look in great condition, but toaster. This one is pretty much actually trash but uh still look at that all just in one house that much stuff is plastic and it's getting frayed on the side if this was real wicker though it would be worth taking all right this one is quite rusty but i do know that's a good time of, of year to sell a cruiser bike so i think maybe for 20 bucks that is something that I know can sell easily whereas a lot of the other stuff is is maybe maybe not Here is some stuff up ahead, but it looks like, what is this, a crate of freaking like tile. Look at this, it's so crazy. I gotta see this. Look at this, this is hard to believe, right? Not available for ball pickup. Uh, this one is for the house. What is this stuff? What is this? This thing is, is looks nice. I like this. What goes inside? Uh, these pieces? I think this and this. This is cool, actually. And what is this? A down comforter? Wow. This is like a whole set of, of knitting, like sewing stuff. Whatever this thing is, which is actually really cool. And these, they go with it, I think. The panes of glass. And they slide in there. I'm pretty sure. I take, I'm taking this. This one's is actually nice suitcases too. Both of these are nice. But I don't know. I don't know what to do with the suitcase.
at this so interesting. Old books. Look at this. Tom Sawyer. These books, they could be worth money, really. 1950s. Look at this. The Far Side Gallery was always a funny one. All these files and trophies. Look at this. What is in here? Some guitar. Wow. Bowling trophies. 1981. Wow. Alright, I've decided to take the one box of books because it looked like a lot of names I knew. Like Mark Twain and, you know, people that have been famous for a long time. But probably worthless, but you never know. Alright, so I was waiting to get these. Damn, did they take them? Oh wait, maybe not. Let me see. I feel like they took some of them. I blew it. There was another guy out here and he took two of the chairs from here. But uh, I was waiting to get these because I didn't want to load up my whole truck. But I know stuff like this sells all day, every day. These are coming home with me. This and this, so it's just, it's just one and one. But damn, I could have really, uh, I think there was four originally, so I did, I did blow it, I fully blew it. Is that it? The top and the bottom, yeah. That's actually not bad. That goes there, that goes there. Let me see, another one like that. Yep, and one like that. And then a pillow for there, and a pillow for here. This is a nice set right here. This is 75 bucks all day on Facebook Marketplace. I probably would've got 100 easy if I had the other ones. Those are good. That was a score. It's funny because I just flew the drone to get some drone shots for the uh, YouTube video. And I saw some guy trash picking in a in a gold truck over there, hitting the spot that I wanted to hit, that I was saving for the end. Or saving, I should say. But I think it looks like he took all the gold, so. But I looking at, I looked it up so that no joke, the average house value in this town, according to I don't know, some website but it is $2.4 million um, for the average home in this town. Whereas like where I live, it's probably like 200,000 around. So you gotta figure, big difference. This is, this is a wealthy area, real wealthy. So the thing is you might not find like crazy stuff every time, but the chances of finding good stuff is a lot higher especially on these bulk days.
Look at that couch. That's a cool couch. That would be great for like a photo shoot. Look at this. This is incredible. The street is paved with stuff. I wasn't kidding at all, guys. Look how much stuff they put on the trash. All this. This is crazy, right? Right. <laughs> Look at it. Everything. Huh? All this stuff. This is good that so many people take it. This one right here? Yeah. That's for scrap, yeah. Yeah, somebody that's scrap. Somebody will definitely take this, yeah. yeah. Pulling it to the side, so they'll see. Wow. Even just the pieces too though. Oh, there's pieces in it? Yeah, like some pieces that go to it. I mean I don't do that on eBay, but sometimes that would be good to sell. I love it. Love it. Ooh, movies. You don't want this? No. Okay, I'll take this one. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, this would probably be the, the last thing I pick up today. I pretty much scoured the whole town. Uh, it's funny, I saw this time, I usually don't see it, but there was a lot of people out here picking the trash, mostly like older people, because I think it's a generational thing where older people don't like to see a lot of waste. Look at this house though, it's crazy. This has got to be like an $8 million house, literally. All right, check it out. I just went by there and there was like a bunch of people picking the trash. Look, he's filled up his whole Suburban. It was a Tahoe. That's cool to see. I, I don't I don't care if other people are taking the goods. And the lady was like, there's a lot of stuff in here that shouldn't be in the landfill. And I agree with her 100%. It's like, why not take it? No reason for it to get thrown away. If it's good, usable stuff that they could either use it or sell it or donate it. That's the dream right there. The older people picking through the trash. Love it. All right, so this town that had the bulk trash day, I just filled my truck. So I got I got some good stuff. Um, there was a lot out. I took, I did pick and choose, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't take everything I could have taken just because I've been doing this for a long time. And certain items, even though they look good, they just don't sell for me. And I don't want to have to throw this stuff out again. I'd rather, you know, sell it or if I could donate it. But certain things you just, you can't really donate. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this, the rest of this town into the next town, which doesn't have a bulk trash day. But they probably have a trash day tomorrow either way. So there is a possibility that I could find some last uh, minute things right out here on the streets. So, onward, the dream is happening. And I know a lot of people have been waiting for these trash picking videos, but, oh, wait a second. Wait a second, there's still more. I didn't go this far down. We might not be done here, actually, everybody. Look at this. Little pile there, little ladder. Uh, and one of those like things that you put the jug of water on top of actually could be worth money. Like, look at this. Look at this. Did you guys see that couch? Sometimes I'm blown away by the stupid stuff that people buy and then they throw it out. It's like, why did you even buy it in the first place? But excess, one of the main reasons. Let's see, this, I, some stuff down on this street caught my eye. Let's see.
that's a nice bed actually that see that wooden bed right there that's a good quality bed legit and look there's a wooden couch a wooden sofa not for me but there is stuff everywhere more stuff here this is like a flea market but everything's free a flea so it's a free market basically yo yo look what, at this girl this is what she does now she had some veggies she wasn't having it with a plate i smashed her on some bananas but look at this she just got food everywhere she's going in this is like her first big meal she's huh going in. she had some veggies and some mashed up bananas with some milk to wash it down some more milk she was loving it living the dream yeah i got a whole bunch of good stuff like cool stuff and uh yeah this is crazy out here there was like there was like a bunch of uh like old people scrap like picking trash and i got some footage of it <laughs> it was awesome because the lady was like yeah this stuff shouldn't she wasn't even really old that there was like an older couple and then the lady was like 50 or something but she was like none yeah. of this should this shouldn't be in the landfill and she was picking it all up oh my gosh it was awesome that is awesome. But yeah, we're. I'm gonna come back soon. Okay. I we, mean, I didn't even get to leave yet. That's how crazy that is. We all missed it, you on the adventure, though. Huh? The viewers missed you out here on the adventure. I know that. Missed me. And Bean, you guys would have been pissed though, because I was driving around for long looking out here. I gotta clean her up, and then. I gotta go to Acme, I guess. All right. Well, I'm gonna go through the rest of the town and then I'm gonna head back. Just when we thought the trash picking was done for the day. What? No way, we just came up on this? This is crazy. What is this? The seashell table? No way. This is so rad. This is the best. Look at this. And the tops right here. Oh man. This is gold. This is absolutely gold. Scores. I gotta figure out how to get this in the truck. I think if I can put the, the glass piece down this side and then I can fit the other stuff in here maybe. The seashell piece is a masterpiece. That's the score. I mean, probably not worth all that much, but going home with a good truckload here. Scores. I just saw some guy on a bike taking a look at this, so I figured he put it back though. But I figured we'll see what it looks like. Oh, it's just like a picture that was printed out. The frame itself, though, is not, is not bad. It's actually nice. There's no glass in the front. All right. It looked like a painting from, from over there, but it was like a blurry, pixelated photograph. All right, we just scored. Scored big, honestly. Scored, like, as good as you really can score out there when you're picking. So, like, I get hyped... I get, I get straight up hyped about this kind of stuff. I know people have commented or messaged me or told me in person even that they wouldn't be able to go trash picking because like they feel some sort of embarrassment or shame or they think that they're gonna get, you know, looked at weird or in trouble for doing it. To be blunt with the whole situation of like feeling embarrassed or whatnot, I don't give a f about what other people think about what I do with my life. I love trash picking. I'm always gonna trash pick, and trash picking is cool. It takes stuff out of the landfill to be used again, and you can find some epic shit, and you can make money doing it. So what is there to be ashamed about? It's literally the dream. I don't wanna get too hyped here right now, but.
right, so where we live, there's barrier islands that stretch all the way from Cape May all the way up the coast. I don't know, all the way throughout all of New Jersey. So I'm just cruising back and from where I started trash picking, all the islands actually connect, well, to an extent. So I'm in the third town over from where I started and look at this. I don't get this, I, I don't understand is, is something is wrong with the chairs, I guess. Look how nice this looks though from first look. Oh, because the leather is ruined, I guess because it's pleather. When I saw it in the car though, I thought, wow, this looks like a really nice couch. But I guess if it's all like that and coming apart, yeah, it's like that. But wow, at first look, it was like two couches and another chair. I almost thought maybe I had to come back for it. But nah, that's not good for selling. All right, so sadly the fam didn't come on the excursion today, but I'm gonna show them what we got. Are you guys coming back? Is the crew coming back? Check out all this gold. Finn, you can be serious. You can. She's a cold bean. Finn, you can be uh, real if you don't like this stuff. All right, so here's the stuff. Let's little cooler. Little cooler. This epic IKEA piece, and these are all the glass panels for it. And they put all the hardware and everything together so that That's you'd be able to like cool. actually put it back together. Do you get what I'm saying? So, a bunch of historic books. Okay. Probably for the yard sale. That's for scrap, the cord's cut. That's for, probably for scrap. These are TVs though, and I figured they wouldn't put them in here unless well, actually, it just says TV. I don't really know for sure. Unless they worked. Why would they go through all that? Steam cleaner. That's Shwing. actually nice. Dude, it was never used. You should see the house it was from. The house was huge. And then the best, I saved the best for last. Okay. Those chairs. Okay, we needed this, Finn. Mama needed this. Do you like the seashell art? Wait! <laughs> I was so... Hold on, let me get it. Yeah, my bad. No, it's fine. When I moved over here, this boat started coming. <laughs> all right, wow. so... Wow, is it wet, babe? No, it's it's not. But the what I got to do is pull it all this way with the boy, right? Pull it all this way and have one of us hold it while the other person puts the pins down. Wow. And, and just... You know, try and even out the the knots. Is this wet? You know what sucks? What? I think there was four of these originally. Well, and somebody took and them. And I away. was like, those are big. I might not want them. Like, because I didn't know how good they actually were until I got to them. <laughs> like how they're so thick and, and heavy. These are the best thing I got. Lucky. Lucky's going to use these yeah. all year. Yeah, she is. She's gonna use them tonight. She's like, I already invited my friends. They're coming over later. Once you With guys, the cushions once too? Once mom and dad go to sleep. You know how Maybe. I know there was four? Because I saw them, right? Mm -hmm. Like, just real quickly. And then I the, there was more cushions left. So someone took them just for the scrap, I think. But damn, that would be brutal to scrap these. My piggy has veggies on her face and bananas. Look, she came up. Hey, look, it's not luck. Right, he had a picture of all y'all. All right, I was making assumptions about these TVs, which isn't always the best idea to do. So, first off, I never even looked in them. It just says TV on it. And second off, I figured they worked because the other ones had broken and these ones were packed up in boxes. So, we'll see. like it works I mean I could pretty much say it definitely works no remote Sangyo TV there it is working condition so that means the other one probably works too I'm just leaving it in the box for now we got this 
sewing bag, knitting bag thing. I took this on a whim because I really don't even know what it is. Some kind of materials. What is this thing? What is this? What? Look at this. Wow. Bliss Model A. Clothes splitting machine. What? This is gnarly. So they were making a welcome mat, I'm guessing. Fraser Company, Stoneville, North Carolina. Or like a welcome flag or banner type of thing. Yeah, it looks like a welcome mat. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Or this. This is obviously for that, but maybe all of it is. So that was all in here. Random bag of joy that was. And then we got this Ikea piece which I'm about to put together and I'll show you guys the final piece. So here's the Ikea piece put together. I actually have all of the bottom of it too. But this is a pretty epic piece right here to just be hanging out in the trash like that. The keys were there, all the glass was there, the cabinets and all the pieces. I still needs to be cleaned a little bit, but it is legit a total score. So it's the next day after the very first bulk trash picking treasure hunt of the year. So we did score yesterday. We came up big. I know a lot of people are excited to see these videos to start re-emerging on our channel. And there is going to be plenty of these this year coming. The only thing is we can't force these types of videos. So it's only possible when they have the trash pickup in the certain towns that we want to hit. So I don't think the next one, there's not another good one like this for like over another a month. So this will be the first, but not the last. So hold on a second, I wanna get my coffee. What I wanted to share with you guys is I did a poll on our YouTube channel on the community page and actually 2,300 people voted in the poll. Um, I can put the results up on the screen. So I put, what did I do? Five different categories, because that's all they let me do, even though there's more categories. And I said, it's been a while since we asked our audience to weigh in on what everyone likes to see on our channel. And I put the categories of, you know, vote on this, family vlogs, trash picking, flea markets, slash yard sales, urban exploring, travel vlogs. Family vlogs got 19%. So almost 20% of our audience loves the family vlogs the most, which I can understand that. They're probably the most real videos that we make, because it's just our life on film. But the, by far the most people put trash picking. So at 57%, even though there is five categories, this one outweighed all of them by so much. Trash picking. Look how freaking boss this table is. The freaking seashell table. So a lot of people found our channel originally from the trash picking videos, and we do plan to continue making these. I did get sidetracked when I was at my grandfather's old house yesterday because I was just thinking about different memories and stuff was coming back into my mind. But what I wanted to say, the whole point of going there first, was that I remember. So when I was like 10 years old up until now, so a long time ago, 20 years ago, I used to ride around. So my parents bought me this cruiser bike and I had a basket on the front and a big basket on the back. And I would literally ride around on my bike in the towns that we lived, that we had a shore house in, which was Longport. And now it's become like this uber rich, insane place where people spend millions of dollars. But in the 90s, you could buy a house there for the same price as, you know, cheaper than you could actually buy a house offshore now. So it wasn't the same, it was different. So when my parents purchased the house, eventually, you know, became more uppity and people started throwing away awesome stuff. So I would literally ride around on my bike, pick up the stuff, take it back to the house. And then I had a little shed in the backyard um, that we used to call the tavern later on in life. 
you know, in high school and stuff, we used to smoke weed in there and whatnot and drank beers in the shed, which is crazy to think about now, but we loved it when we were younger. But before that, when I was a kid, I used to store all my stuff that I would find in that shed. And then my parents would let me have, you know, my mom really encouraged me to have yard sales and she would help me do it. So I've been doing this for so long, like literally my whole life. But what my point is, we were at my grandfather's house and he was talking about the bulk trash picking in Stone Harbor. So he said literally the streets were paved with anything you would ever want. Lamps, couches, furniture. He was a picker too. His his house was hoarded out, you know, even worse than mine. So I think it's inherited to be one of these, you know, picker people. I got that light bulb in my head all the way back. I was probably like 12, 13, 14 years old when he said this. And I was thinking, when is that? Well, this is when it is. They do it like three times a year. And literally the streets are paved with different stuff that you can just pick. Look how much stuff they put on the trash. So I wanted to do a quick breakdown of the stuff that we got. I'll, pr I'll just start from best to worst uh, cabinet, the green cabinet. That was a, an Ikea piece that was originally $200. I think if we sold it, we could sell it for 75 bucks around. The furniture, the chair and the other bench, we're going to keep them probably, but I think that would sell actually probably for like 100 The seashell table, I'm just keeping the seashell part as a like a sculpture but i think with the top even with the cracks and everything would sell for around 50 60 bucks i would say 50 on the low end just maybe somebody who wanted a seashell table what else do we get all that sewing and knitting stuff to make like welcome mats i think that's around 75 to 100 bucks uh you can't gauge exactly what it's going to sell for unless you post it and see what you know what people want we got the cooler that's like a five dollar piece uh, the two TVs together, I would say like 50 bucks. They don't have remotes, so they're probably worth about 20, 25 each, 30 maybe. The bike is worth like 20 bucks. The books, 30 bucks. So all in all, going out, picking, getting a truckload of stuff. I would say, you know, after gas and everything's weighed in, 350 to $400 probably profit if we sold everything that we got, that I got honestly a really good hustle that is probably the best side hustle i've ever personally came up with to make three four hundred dollars in one day picking trash is unheard of i mean also the amount of scrap that was out there i would estimate you know if i went back with my trailer say like 4 a.m this morning and just loaded up all the scrap and took it to the scrap yard 150 200 bucks easily so like on a good bulk day like this if you were gnarly and you didn't like if i didn't film youtube videos and you could probably make close to a thousand dollars if you went hard like if you were hitting it for like three days before the bulk pickup and just taking loads and just bringing all the good stuff back um because there was probably a lot of other stuff there that i just did not get because i was late to the punch i was there like right before the night before but yeah so that's it that's our trash picking video this happens, you know, like I said, a dozen times a year with the bulk pickup, but there is other trash days in the spring and beginning of summer where just so many people come down that they just throw out awesome stuff. So this will be a continuous series and stay tuned because the trash picking has just begun. Let's get, let's set this, let's set this season off right with the first video. You just watched it and thank you guys. Peace. And we'll see you in the next one.